So you want to make a video game but don't know where to start? Then this video is for you. I'm an indie game developer and today I'm going to show you how to make your own video games. Let's go! First of all you need to pick a game engine. So if you don't know what a game engine is, it's basically a really powerful tool that will help you to make your video games. It helps you with graphics such as texture rendering, loading and effects, but also with physics that you don't need to code your own physics engine such as gravity and it also helps you with sound and music. Most game engines also come with assets or tools that even make it easier for you to create your own games even if you're a beginner at coding art or music. But there are lots of great game engines out there and now you're confronted with the question what game engine shall I pick? Well, I'm here to help you. Which game engine is right for you depends on the type of video game you want to create. But by that I don't mean a type of video game genre. Some game engines support 2D and 3D, but most of them don't. So if you want to make a 2D game, you should pick a engine that is better for 2D. And if you want to make a 3D game, you should pick a 3D game engine. Not every game engine is free, but there are luckily some good ones that are. So you can of course pick one of those if you don't want to spend money. If you already know how to code, you maybe want to pick a game engine that supports the coding language you already know. On which platform will people actually play your game? Is it a PC or a smartphone or like an Xbox or a PS4? Not all game engines support every platform, but luckily Unity, Unreal Engine, Game Maker and Godot support a lot of platforms and I'm sure you will be happy with what they offer you. Actually, all of these four game engines are free if you don't want to have extra features that nobody needs. And also the huge benefit of Game Maker, Unity, Unreal and Godot is that they are the most popular game engines on the market, which means that there are lots of good tutorials out there, which is actually pretty useful if you're new to game dev and want to get started with how to use your game engine and want to make your first game. I'll also make a p video in particular about which of these four game engines is right for you. I'll put a link in the description as soon as it's out. Step number two, learn the skills you need. In my opinion, there are three main skills you need for making games, which is art, code and music. So you might be a good artist but you can't code, or you might be a good coder but can't draw, or you might be a good coder but can't make music, whatever the case might be, I'm going to show you some tips if you want to get a coder, an artist or a musician for making video games. So let's get right into it. Many people think that coding is really hard to learn. And okay, there are bugs you need to fix and stuff you need to learn, but is it different in other skills you're learning? Like if you're an artist, you also won't be good right from the beginning and everything will be hard at first, but if you try and don't give up, you'll become good at it. And um, you're probably wondering what coding language shall I pick? Well, that actually first of all depends on what game engine you want to use and second you actually don't need code really to make games you can also like use scratch when you're just learning how to code never forget that google is your best friend every problem almost every problem has been asked and solved by somebody before you and you will find it seriously and don't be afraid of that you think that you're stupid, that you need to look up stuff at Google. I mean, every coder does that. Seriously, every coder. Doesn't matter if you're an experienced coder or not, everybody does that. So actually, games should look good. They all have animations and graphics, all made by graphic designers. And when you're just starting as a graphic designer, let me get a few things out of the way. You don't need Photoshop. A lot of people 
think that they need Photoshop to make great graphics, also for game dev. But just because other people use Photoshop for game dev, it doesn't mean that you can also use free tools such as Critter for graphic designing for games, which I personally use, and I think it's really good. Also, and in the beginning, make simple graphics. Simple graphics are okay. Also, you won't be good right from the beginning. That's the same as with every skill you're learning. And also, simple graphics are okay at the start. And don't get mad when you see what other people are creating. Just learn and improve. There are lots of ways to create music and sounds for your video games. Let's start with video game sounds. First of all, you can get really creative and like use whatever you find in your house to create sounds or you can just use a free video game sound effect creator tool such as SFXR or the online version JSFXR which is linked in the description because it is really great for making sounds. Almost every video game has background music and there are multiple ways on how you can do this. If you play an instrument, you can of course record yourself playing a song or you can use a music software creation tool. There are also a lot of good free ones of them to make your music which I actually use for making music. You probably already have a game idea in your head that you really want to make and I'm sorry but your first video game you'll ever make won't be your dream game. That was also when I created my first game it also wasn't my dream game and till now I actually didn't really create my dream game because first of all you wanna learn the engine before you start on a working on a huge project because dream games are really likely to be very huge projects and most game ideas that people have are 3D and if you just start with programming I would recommend using 2D for a little while before switching over to 3D because at the beginning 3D can seem pretty confusing because it comes with complicated stuff such as quaternions. Also uh, most players want to create a multiplayer game but multiplayer comes with networking and that is also really complicated if you're just starting out. So start simple and then later on you can start building bigger and more complicated 3D or multiplayer projects. Also, if you don't finish something for a while, you'll lose motivation and probably give up. So we definitely don't want that to happen on your first game or ever. So keep your first game simple, make something you can finish in like about a month or two and then you'll be much happier. Also, your first game won't be perfect. That was also the case when I made my first game. It was really crappy, but I was proud of it because I actually made a game. We all started out small, so it's best also to keep your first video game small, and then later you can make bigger video games. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, smash subscribe and ring the bell that you don't miss future Devlog tip videos and then I hope to see you soon. Bye.